I got a surprise. This is a very fun surprise for me. I am going to do a hangout hawk only Gary V mystery box right now. I'm a purebred entrepreneur for real, for real, for real. Like documented. Been through the mud and now I'm growing in sunshine. See you. Great How to you see been? you again. I've been fantastic. It's nice to see you, brother. Let's discuss your health and wellness habits because okay. I know that is something that you're big on. Yes. And a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners is this is something that they're severely lacking. Yes, and I was and, the far majority of my career. Yeah. I think a lot about being 90 to 100. Mm -hmm. I think about who am I going to be at that point? How much wisdom can I like? I always think about like Gary V today is trying to put out good into the world and has a big platform. Well, me at 90 to 100, I can be on some Yoda shit. And if I can hang for another 10 more years, I can leave more positive deposits. And if I have to do fucking Bulgarian split squats to be there, then fuck it, I'm gonna do it. I really think that's like literally exactly how my brain thinks about it. Absolutely. Anything you can control, if you can make it better, why wouldn't you consider it? And for me, working out is the hardest thing. To this day, almost a decade later, I do not want to do it. It does not come natural to me. It's, you know, I have such envy for people. I'm, I'm making assumption just because you're in such great shape. I always feel like for those people, it's kind of like business for me. Like business for me comes natural. Everything's easy. I'll always be great at it because I've always been and I always will be. But like, you know, I have a lot of envy and I don't have a lot of envy in my heart, but I have envy for people that like literally like love it. Can't wait to go. Like for me, that's not my reality, but it's so damn important, I fight for it. Thank you, brother. Thank you, sir. Pleasure, Appreciate brother. Appreciate it. So I actually thought about, for the first time, a new book idea called Hire Your Best Friends and Family. The first five employees is everything. Hire your best friends and family. I have a very different point of view. Like that's such a common thing, right? Like don't hire friends and family. I think it's the complete reverse. I think it's hire friends and family and then try to turn everybody else into friends and family, right? Like like everybody in my life makes fun of me that I only have, my only friends are like my employees. <laughs> like I can't help it. Like I don't know, like it is what it is. So um, I think um, it be very human with them. Be vulnerable, be transparent, be candorous, try to teach. Too many people have too much of their self-esteem wrapped up in them being the best at their thing when they hire employees, it completely fucks them up. The biggest reason people don't grow teams is because of ego. You're coming up with the reasons of no versus the reasons of yes. And so like, my answer is get the admin to go full-time, hire the salesperson immediately, and start learning through the process of it. Like maybe the first person won't be right, but you can't worry about who you're gonna hire before you hire them. Meaning like, you know, what's gonna happen? You're gonna, you're gonna lose the client? Okay, but if you don't grow, you won't grow. Thank you. You're welcome, Thanks. buddy. Quick, I got a surprise. This is a very fun surprise for me. I am going to do a Hangout Hawk only Gary V mystery box right now. Right now, in here, there's already a bunch of stuff in here. So the team, let me, I want to do some hardcore stuff. Yes, give me this. This a little hoodie, but I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop a big one right now. I am actually gonna take one of the ceramics. All right, Driven Dragon ceramic. I'm gonna wrap that in here. All right, what else? Okay, this is very rare for me, but I'm giving up one of my hillbilly gyms. Hillbilly Jim in the house. I gotta get to my next meeting. Here's how we're gonna do it. The person that's gonna win this box is the first person to put the number five in the chat right now, go. Oh shit, <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> Shiv, get the fuck out of here, Shiv. That was really well done. I'm really wow. impressed. Wow, oh, that's fucking Shiv. Shiv. Gotta give it to him, Jesus Christ, that fucking shit. The nice thing is Shiv's gonna give it away. All right, love you Hawks, caw caw. Love you, talk soon, see ya.